Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I wanted to bring you all a review of a very popular winter scent from Bath & Body Works. It is none other than the Vanilla Bean Noel. Uh, this is the line that I have the packaging in. I actually have like two versions of the packaging. I think this came out during the 2018 collection. This one I believe came out during the 2000 had to be 2017 collection then so this packaging right here and then I also have a nice um, antibacterial foaming hand mousse and so I just want to kind of go through and talk about each of these items and kind of my thoughts on them so I've actually used up a vanilla bean noel super smooth body lotion in the travel form and then I've also used up an entire shower gel from the vanilla bean noel and I must say like it's a nice scent and all well first let's get a moment for this packaging this version of the packaging is very cute and very sleek I really like the rose gold trim here at the top and then the lettering of it I really think that the um, lotions that they made in this particular packaging come out to be very very moisturizing and so the scent notes on vanilla bean noel is fresh vanilla bean warm caramel sugared cookies whipped cream and snow kissed musk um, I do like vanilla bean noel I'll be honest like I think it's a nice uh, vanilla scent, um, but I think that I've had my fair share of it. I think after using the a whole shower gel and then the travel size body lotion, I kind of had my fix. I, I've had enough of it, and so I'm actually a little bit worn out on this scent, and that's kind of sad to say because um, I think it's a really nice scent, but... Um, Definitely not one of my favorite vanilla scents. So I think overall the body lotion and the shower gel are okay in this scent. I, I think they're nice. I did start using the um, Vanilla Bean Noel Ultra Shea Body Cream. And I know that this packaging looks really used up. I actually recorded this video already, but it got erased. And so I'm actually re-recording it. And I've since found a way to go through this. But like maybe a couple of days ago, this was like completely full. And the reason for that is because this Ultra Shea Body Cream, it is from the um 2018 collection which is really not that old so well it was like a year and a couple of months ago um but the thing i don't like about this ultra shea body cream is one i know that it is like turning bad let me show you all like you can see it's like thick and a little bit lumpy and it's yellow so um one i don't like how it looks um and then two it's not very moisturizing on the skin i normally purchase the ultra shea body creams because i know that they are very moisturizing um but this one in particular is not and then also the smell is like a little off like to me it kind of smells a little bit plasticky like i don't know it just doesn't smell like the nice fresh vanilla scent that i was looking for it kind of it has like a little plasticky smell to it that I'm really not a fan of. And so then I was like, okay, well, I'll just take it back to the store and exchange it for another one. But then I felt bad about it because I didn't want, you know, a product that I had had sitting around for like a year before I started to use it, take it back to try and get something else. And so I was like, let me find a way to use it. And there's another YouTuber that I watch. I forget what her name is, but um, I'll try to link her down below if I remember. But she actually breaks up her old... Uh, Bath and Body Work products that have maybe turned bad or uh, just aren't working out for her the way that she likes them to. She'll break them up into a, um, a bath and use it up that way. And that's actually how I've gotten through this product um, so much. Like I've used it maybe, this has lasted maybe like four baths and maybe I have like one and a half more baths left. And all I do literally, I just squeeze it in my hand. And while I have some of it in my hand, I put it underneath the running water and I just slowly do this and just break it up into the into the bath. And I found that to be a really nice way to use up um, body creams and or just older Bath and Body Work lotions and products because one, it goes through pretty quick. But then two is nice because you actually um, when you're in the bath, like the, the it like soaks into your skin. And so then you technically don't even really need to um, put on any lotion after you get out. Maybe it's kind of like a version of like a moisturizing body wash. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. But um, I actually really enjoy using it that way. But overall, as the body lotion or body cream itself, no good to me, you all. And I feel like I got so much of the Vanilla Bean Noel. Like, to me... The Vanilla Bean Noel is just kind of better in like smaller doses. And so um, I also, like I said, picked up the Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. Again, I'm a little played out on the scent, but it's not so bad just in the hand soap form. I primarily got this just for the packaging. Um, 
I'm actually planning on using this as a reusable hand soap dispenser. Um, so once this is empty, I'm going to peel off that sticker. I really wanted one with like a gold trim. I'm going to peel that sticker off and just have it um, on my sink and use it as like a hand soap dispenser. I am going to make a video to show you all how to do that. But really quick hack, you just put in your old body wash, put it up with some water, shake it, and you have your own hand soap, which is really nice because then you can kind of mix and match uh, different scents. And then also the scents they don't make in the hand soap form, you can make it yourself. So yeah, that's a little hack for y'all as well. But yeah, the hand soap isn't bad, but I mean, I have it. I'm going to use it up. I really bought it for the packaging. Um, and it is super cute, you know? So yeah, that's that. And then the final thing that I have here, it just seemed like I did not have good luck with Vanilla Bean Noel, y'all. But I have it in the Antibacterial Foaming Hand Mousse. Again, packaging is super cute. I like that little bell with the, with the little ribbon on the top. And with this one, I actually was excited about using it up but um and i think i'm maybe like up to about here oops let me do it here up to about here it's like halfway through but the downfall with this is like it stopped coming out y'all like this is how it comes out of the hand dispenser now which is like really sad because one who has all day to like sit and wait for the foaming hand soap to come i mean that the, the hand sanitizer to come out and so it seems like something's wrong with the sprout it might be broken but I mean I still have a lot of product left in here and so I guess I'm gonna have to be really patient with trying to use it up but it was kind of a dud which was really sad and so overall Vanilla Bean Noel I've not had the best experience with it but it's not a bad scent um, to me, I think a little bit is just enough. And so if I ever decide, which I don't think I will, but if I ever decide to purchase it again, I definitely would only purchase things in the mini, which would probably only be like the mini shower gel and maybe even just the hands, well, mini shower gel and maybe just the hand sanitizer. But Vanilla Bean Noel is something where just if I could just get a little dose of it, then I'm good, you know. Um, and it's also not, it's a very super sweet scent. So it's not something I really want to be walking around smelling like. It kind of uh, puts me in the mind of like my high school days. So yeah, that is my thoughts on Vanilla Bean Noel. Definitely let me know what you all think about this scent. Is it one of your favorites? Do you have the same sentiments that I have towards it? I would love to hear y'all sound off in the comments. Um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all liked what you saw here, definitely feel free to stick around and join the happy family. Um, as always, leave some love in the comments down below, and I will see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!